up with some show of blindness. Bear a fair presence, though your heart be tainted. Teach sin the carriage of a holy saint. Be secret faults. What need she be acquainted? Alas, poor women, make us but believe, being compact of credit, that you love us. While others have the arm, show us the sleeve. We and your merchant may turn, and you may move us. Gentle brother, get you in again. Comfort my sister, cheer her, call her wife. Tis holy sport to be a little vain when the sweet bread of flattery comes to strife. Sweet mistress, well, your name is else I know not. <laughs> Nor by what wonder you do hit of mine. <clears throat> Less in your knowledge and your grace you show not than our earth's wonder, more than earth divine. Against my soul's pure truth, why labor you to make it wander in an unknown field? Are you a god? Would you create me new? Transform me then into your power I'll yield. But if that I am I, then well I know your weeping sister is no wife of mine. Nor no. to her bed, no homage do I owe. Far more, far more to you do I decline. Oh, train me not, sweet mermaid, with thy note, to drown me in thy sister's flood of tears. Sing, siren, for thyself, and I will dote. Ah, uh, spread o'er the silver waves thy golden hairs, and as a bed I'll take them and there lie. And in that glorious supposition think he gains by death that has such means to die. Let love, being light, be drowned if she sink. <clears throat> What, are you mad that you do reason so? Not mad, but mated. How, I do not know. It's a fault that springeth from your eyes. For gazing on your beams, fair sun, being by. Gaze where you should, and that will clear your sight. As good to wink, sweet love, as look on night. Why call you me love? Call my sister so. Thy sister's sister. That's my sister. No, it is thyself. <laughs> Mine own self better part. Mine eyes clearer eye. My dear heart's dearer heart, my food, my fortune, oh, my sweet hope's aim, my soul earth's heaven, and my heaven's claim. Oh. All this my sister is, or else should be. Call thyself sister, sweet, <laughs> for I am thee, and, and thee I love, and with thee lead my life. Thou hast no husband yet, and I no wife. Give me thy hand. <laughs> Oh, soft air, hold you still while I fetch my sister to get her goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> She would have me, but that she, being a very beastly creature, lays claim to me. What is she? A oh, very reverent body, such a one as a man may not talk of without he say, Sir Reverence. Oh, I have but lean luck in the match, and yet she is a wondrous fat marriage. What dost thou mean, fat marriage? Mary, sir, <laughs> she's the kitchen wench and full of grace, and I know not what use to put her to, but to make a lamp of her and run from her by her own light. I warrant all her rags and all the tallow in them will burn a Poland winter. If she lives till doomsday, she'll burn a week longer than the whole world. <laughs> what complexion is she of? Oh, swart, like my shoe, but her face, nothing half so clean kept, for why she sweats. A man may go over shoes in the grime of it. That's a fault the water will mend. No, sir, tis in grain. Noah's flood could not do it. What's her name? No, sir. But her name in three quarters, well, that's an L in three quarters, will not measure her from hip to hip. She bears some breadth, then. No longer from head to foot than from hip to hip. <laughs> she, she is spherical, like a globe. 
I can find out countries and her. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> In what part of her body stands Ireland? Her Mary and her buttocks. Oh, I found it out by the bogs. <laughs> I found it by the barrenness, hard in the palm of her hand! <laughs> Where France? Oh, sir, upon her forehead, all armed and reverted, making war against her hair. <laughs> Where England? Oh, I looked for the chalky cliffs, <laughs> but I found no whiteness in them, but I guess it stood at her chin by the salt room that ran between France and it. <laughs> Where España? Oh, sir, I saw it not, but I felt it hot on her breath. Where America, the Indies? Why, sir, upon her nose, all o'er embellished with rubies, carbuncles, sapphires, declining the rich aspect of the hot breath of Spain, who sent whole armados of carrots to be ballast at her nose. <laughs> Where lies Belgium, the Netherlands? Oh, sir, I did not look so low. <laughs> <laughs> to conclude, this drudge, or diviner, laid claim to me, called me Dromeo, swore I was assured to her, told me what privy marks I have about me as to the mark of my shoulder, the mole in my neck, the great wart in my left arm, that I am as it ran from her as a witch. And I think... If my breast had not been made of faith and my heart of steel, she had turned me into a curdled dog and made me turn of the wheel. No, no, no. Go. Hide thee presently. Post to the road. Oh, if the wind blow any way from shore, uh, I'll not harbor in this town tonight. Uh, no, no. If any ship put forth, come to the mart, uh, where I will walk till you return to me. If all know us and we know none, tis time, I think, to pack, trudge, and be gone. Oh, as from a bear a man would run for life, so fly I from her that would be my wife! <laughs> None but witches do inhabit here. Therefore it is high time that I were hence. Oh, and she that would call me husband, even my soul, doth for a wife of whore. Oh, but her fair sister. Oh, possessed of such a gentle, sovereign grace, of such charm, and, oh, oh, oh has almost made me traitor to myself. Oh, no. But lest I be guilty of self-wrong, I'll stop my ears against the mermaid song. Mm -mm. Hey, Master Antiphon! Oh. That's my name. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Lo, here is the chain. Hmm? I thought to have taken you at the pauper time, but the chain unfinished made uh, me stay thus long. W what is your will that I should do with this? What please yourself, sir? I've made it for you. You made it for me, but sir, I bespoke it not. Not once, nor twice, but twenty times you have. Well, no, no, Go no, no, home no. with it and please your wife with all. And as soon as supper time, I'll visit you and receive my money for the chain. Oh, no, no, take money now. For a fair you never see chain nor money hence. You are a merry man, sir. Fare you well. <coughs> I know not what to think of this. <laughs> but this I think. There is no man so vain that would refuse so fair an offered chain. <laughs> I see a man here need not live by shifts, when in the street he meets such golden gifts. <clears throat> I will to the mark, and there for Dromeo stay. If any ship put forth, straight away. <laughs> <laughs>